something that still I just don't understand is that where are their parents? So if these if these kids or young people getting uh, getting recruited. My parents. So I, when I misbehave, I would get grounded. And one time I got grounded for for three months. I was allowed to see my friends. What did you do? And it was sad. Uh, we don't need to get into it. it was, I just. I mean, I deserved it. But but. But it was very effective. Yeah. And if my parents found out that I was sympathizing or was ordering books or was you know wanted to join ISIS, they would have they would have flipped their lids. They would have gone insane, um, freaked out. Are the parents not involved in their kids' lives? Or the first line def of defense in any situation when it has to do with young people is obviously what happens in the home. It has a great deal of influence. We have not been uh, clear and precise to help give parents the tools that they need to A, understand how recruitment happens, B, what the radicalization process is, and C, what they can do if they, if they are in a situation where they're worried about their child. If, God forbid, a parent sees their child might be, might have bulimia or anorexia, or, you know, God forbid, be suicidal, there is a place where that parent can go. Where are the, where is the infrastructure within communities in which a parent can go other than law enforcement? We have not built that. We have not done that for them. Nor have we had an open conversation uh, in America or around the world about how this really happens. And how does how does it actually look? Does is it is this something supported by uh, by their by their mosques that they need to talk more about within within their uh, community? Is it something that um, NGOs can promote? Uh, is it something that? there needs to be some sort of a parent association. How do you see this actually playing out? All of the above. Yeah. 